The following program is brought to you by the Lion Ball Library. Over here, over here, over here, over here, over here, here, here. Hey, here I am. Hi, it's Maddie time. so sleepy I can hardly hold my eyes open, Grandma. Uh, I think I'm gonna go to bed now. Good night, Grandma. Oh, good night, Grandpa. I want to finish my knitting before I go to bed. Well, good night. Sleep tight. Knit one, purl two. Knit one, purl two. <coughs> <laughs> no, no, Kitty. I cannot knit a cat. It's too late to do any more knitting. Come on. I will put the cat out and go to bed too. I'll just tidy up and then... Oh, what's that noise? Oh dear, I heard it again. Oh, Grandpa, Grandpa! Grandpa, wake up! What is it, Grandma? What's the matter? Oh, I heard a noise, Grandpa, a scary noise. It was kind of a whistly noise. Now, now, Grandma, it was probably just the wind whistling in the pine trees. Do you hear it now? No, I don't hear it now. Good. I'm going back to bed. Good night, Grandma. <sighs> Grandpa's probably right. How silly of me. It's just the wind in the trees. There it is again. It's not the wind. Grandpa, Grandpa, wake up. Did you call Grandma? Yes, Grandpa, I heard the noise again. It was a scary noise. It wasn't the wind in the trees. Uh, uh, it must have been the cows mooing. No, it wasn't the cows, Grandpa. It was probably the chickens squawking. Do you hear it now, Grandma? No, I don't hear anything now. Well, neither do I, Grandma. I I'm going back to bed. Aren't you going to go to bed, Grandma? No, I'm too scared. I mean, I have something to do first. Good night, Grandpa. <sighs> I can't sleep now. I think I'll go make a cup of tea. Oh, I don't need any tea. It's silly of me to be afraid. I'm going to bed. Oh, it's just the dog. Shh, doggy. You'll wake Grandpa. Shoo, shoo. How silly I'm acting and all because of that. Noise! There it is again! Grandpa! Grandpa! Uh, 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 did you call again, Grandma? Did you hear the noise again? Yes, Grandpa! Stay with me and listen for a while, and then you can hear it too. Uh, all right, Grandma. <sighs> <laughs> Was that the noise, Grandma? <laughs> That's just the owl. No, Grandpa, that was not the noise. <sighs> all right, all right, I'll wait. <laughs> oh, that's just the dog. Good night. Wait, Grandpa, that's not the noise I heard. 
was that the noise? That was just a bird, Grandma. <laughs> Good night. Oh, that wasn't the noise either, Grandpa. Oh, I'm so sleepy. I can't. I can't hold my eyes open any longer. <laughs> Oh, that's the noise, Grandma. Do you hear it? It sounds like it's right here. It's... Grandpa, it's you! <laughs> I must have fallen asleep. Ha! <laughs> oh, Grandpa, do you know what the noise was? It was you, Grandpa. It was your snoring. My, 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 my snoring? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, oh I, I'm sorry you were afraid, Grandma. <laughs> oh, and I'm sorry I kept waking you up, Grandpa. That is one noise I will never be afraid of again. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm glad to hear that, Grandma, because uh, uh, I'm so sleepy. Uh, <sighs> Good night, Grandpa. It's craft time. <laughs> Boys and girls, I'm Laura from Limebaugh Library's Children's Department, and today we have a craft that will drive you batty. We're going to make a bat craft today. For the materials, the first thing you'll need is an empty toilet paper tube. Next, you'll need a 9 by 12 piece of construction paper. Most pieces come in 9 by 12. That's perfect for what we're making today. The next thing you'll need is a bat head template and bat wing templates. Those can be found online at linebaugh.org. You can choose your wings. The next thing you'll need are crayons, glue, and scissors. Make sure you have a parent help you with the cutting. The first thing we'll do are print out the templates and the head. Today, I've chosen to use this template. It's one of my favorites. Then, you'll color the pieces um, from each template. So I'll color my wings and my bat head. And I think I'll choose brown for my wings. Don't worry about staying in the lines. Now that I've colored my wings, I'll color my bat head. The beauty of this is you can do any color you want. You could have a pink bat or a blue one. It's up to you.
my bat will have blue eyes, a pink nose, and fuzzy brown bat ears. The next thing you'll need to do is cut out the bat head, which I've already done here, and the wings. Now remember, you need a parent to help you with this step. And again, don't worry about cutting on the lines perfectly. Just do your best. Okay. Now that my wings and my head are cut out, I'm going to set them aside for the next step. The next thing you'll need is your construction paper. I'm going to take your paper and fold it in half lengthwise, just like this. Today I'm going to use black for my bat. You see the fold? That's where we're going to cut our bat body. Make sure you have a parent help you with this step. There we go. You actually get two bat bodies from one piece of paper. The next step is gluing it and putting it onto the toilet paper roll. So you're going to glue both ends of the construction paper. This part is really fun. You just put it on the paper and roll it up. Look, you have a bat body. Now where this lines up here, where your paper ended, that's going to be the back of your bat. The next thing you need are the pieces you colored. And you're going to glue them to your bat body. I'll glue my wings first. A glue sticks work, works really well, but you can use any glue you want. And make sure the colored part faces forward. Finally, we're going to glue our bat head onto the body. Here's your finished product. You have a fun batty bat that you can use for a centerpiece, make it fly, or play with it. Enjoy your batty. That was a great craft, Miss Laura. It's time for Maddie's Fun Facts. Toucan from Blind Ball Public Library. I have a special name just like you. Are you named after someone in your family? A very nice man, Mr. Henry T. Linebaugh, made the first donation to create a public library in Murfreesboro. He requested the library be named after his mom, and her name was, you guessed it, Maddie.
City. That's where we get the name Lime Bob Public Library, and that's how I got my name, too. Have you ever been to the children's department at Lime Bob Public Library? Have you seen the colorful paintings on the walls? The same man who drew and painted those pictures and characters created me. His name was Mr. Norris Hall, and he is a local art director, illustrator, and graphic designer from our very own Murfreesboro. Now the next time you come to the children's department at Lineball Public Library, you will know a special fact about the paintings and about me. Here's some books just for you at Lineball Library. Toucans by Mary R. Dunn. From cover to cover, the vivid colors of this story fixedly capture your attention and will delight readers of all ages. Bats at the Library by Brian Lees. Playful and mischievous bats lead you on an adventure with each turn of the page. Settle in for some nighttime reading with this charming and engaging story. Going Someplace Special by Patricia C. McKissick. A young girl finds a place where all are welcome in this beautifully written and heartwarming story. For this and even more great reading, stop by one of our five locations in Murfreesboro, Eagleville, and Smyrna. But don't forget your library card. You can also visit our website, lineball.org, to find out more information about upcoming events and activities. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you soon.